for the most accurate forecast in the Ozarks. Well, Jamie, the day we've been waiting for is here. What you told us about sunshine and I think a record high, if I'm not mistaken. Not just one. Uh, we set record highs in most of the area this afternoon with temperatures topping 70 degrees in a lot of spots. And I tell you, this is incredible because just a week ago, we had highs in the single digits. And now a week later, we've got record highs being set in the area. Springfield, 70 this afternoon, 71 in Joplin, 71 in Rolla in the uh, Vichy area, uh, and also in Harrison, Arkansas, a high of 72 degrees. Uh, these temperatures uh, are just very welcome after the cold spell of late last week into the holiday weekend. Temperatures today running about 25 degrees above normal in a pretty broad area from Missouri north into Iowa. This time of the year, though, when you get the warmth, sometimes you get the thunderstorms, and we are finding that off to the south across Arkansas and eastern Texas. That looks to be a stormy stretch of uh, real estate as we head into the evening hours, and I think that's going to extend further north and east across Arkansas into southeast Missouri and southern Illinois later on this evening. Uh, that's all ahead of this cold front that will usher some cooler air back into the area as we wrap up this week. Now, as far as any severe weather potential, I think it's very minimal given the setup. There is limited instability and there is some wind energy, but the way the winds are kind of oriented with the thunderstorms that will fire up, that should cut down in the severe weather potential. But I can't rule out a few stronger storms that might produce some stronger wind gusts and maybe even a bit of hail in places like Ash Flat up through, uh, say, Alton and Eminence and points east across southeast Missouri and northeast Arkansas. Looking at our forecast overnight tonight, I think we'll start seeing showers and isolated thunderstorms pop up uh, probably around mid to late evening, say after 8 o'clock this evening. And uh, by midnight tonight, we should have a bit of a line of showers and isolated thunderstorms near Highway 63. That activity will continue to expand in coverage and intensity and then shift east across our eastern counties as we work through the remainder of the night. In fact, there'll be some training over the same areas of showers and thunderstorms, and the threat of showers will continue into Friday in those locations. Meanwhile, areas further west, while I think we're going to start off the day mostly cloudy, I think the clouds will have a tendency of trying to thin out as we work into the afternoon hours. As far as rainfall amounts, notice most of the area stays dry with this cold front. But areas off to the east and southeast from Eminence back in the mountain home, we're going to see stripes in there where, you know, a quarter to maybe three quarters of an inch of rain could fall overnight tonight into Friday. Uh, temperatures tonight will be getting cooler. Not this evening, but by morning, noticeably colder as we drop into the 30s west and into the low to mid 40s east. Looks like about 37 for low in Springfield with highs tomorrow. Certainly jacket weather uh, with temperatures in the low 50s. Looking ahead to this upcoming weekend, as I talked about yesterday, I think this upcoming weekend, actually shaping up to be a mild one as we wrap up 2022. I think low 60s for highs with partly sunny skies on New Year's Eve day. That night, the weather looks quiet, partly cloudy, temperatures in the low to mid 40s as we ring in the new year. And then on New Year's Day, we'll find partly sunny skies with afternoon highs back in the mid 60s. And if it's like what we've had the last couple of days, I'm being a little conservative with the highs. I mean, we could be a little bit higher than what I'm forecasting right there. We get into Monday, though, we are going to have to contend with the next storm, and that one should produce a more widespread round of showers and thunderstorms and the potential of some severe weather. That'll be followed by colder weather with highs maybe back in the upper 30s come Wednesday of next week. Guys? All right, Jamie.